ABC News gets action. We all know cochlear implants can change the lives of children who believe they will then learn like other kids do. 90% of insurance companies cover the cost, but what if you are a family that didn't notice a line in your policy and your child has to pay the price? ABC's Dan Harris with our investigation and a wake-up call for anyone buying insurance. You have to look closely, but if you keep your eye on the boy in the orange shirt, his name is Carson, you'll see he is consistently one step behind his preschool classmates. Math friend? Carson. Math friend. Staring off when the teacher's talking to him. You're my math friend, come on. Still sitting for a few seconds. Yeah, go find a card and count out. When all the other kids get up. I think he's constantly trying to keep up. I think he wears himself out trying to keep up with everybody else. Carson Rubin, who's five, has a condition called auditory neuropathy, which means that while the teacher sounds like this to the rest of the children, carrots and onions, is it healthy or unhealthy? To Carson, she sounds like this. Carson, have you ever been to the dentist? Have you, um, have you ever been to the dentist? Cochlear implants could dramatically improve Carson's hearing. They can have miraculous impacts. Just watch as this child's device is turned on for the first time. Could you hear that? <laughs> but it would cost a quarter of a million dollars, and the Rubens Health Insurance Company has refused to cover it. When they came back to you and said, we're not going to cover this, what was your reaction? I was shocked. Welcome to Coventry Healthcare. The We're Rubens are covered by Coventry Healthcare of Georgia. We looked at the Rubens policy, and right there on page 33, at the bottom of a long list of exclusions, there it is hearing devices and implants. Experts say companies have wide latitude to create exclusions like this, so you have to check your policy closely. We made repeated requests for an interview, but Coventry would only tell us, quote, no health insurance policy covers every procedure. In 2011 alone, Coventry made half a billion dollars in profit. This is their CEO, Alan Wise, who is number 53 on the Forbes list of richest executives. What would you say to him? Sir, if you were in our same position and you were told repeatedly, no, 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 how would you feel? If our salaries were swapped, how would you feel? After this interview, we made one last call to Coventry. And this time, they thanked us for bringing this issue to their attention and said they will now cover cochlear implants in Georgia. Go. Including for Carson, whose mother we spoke to this morning. To have the insurance company call you and say, okay, we're going to cover this, that must have been huge. Well, I kind of couldn't breathe for a while. <laughs> Carson Rubin will have surgery in weeks. His mother says he is very excited, but bear this in mind. Every year, more than 1,000 children who need cochlear implants are denied in America. And even though Coventry is changing its policy in Georgia, in 23 other states in which the company operates, the exclusion will remain in place.